Hey, how's it going guys? It is JT Judgment here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you are watching this video and welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Legend Review guys and as you can tell by the title and on the screen right about now guys we're going to be taking a look at a new legend in Ultimate Team, the 86 rated Norwegian striker Ole Gunnar Solskjaer guys so let's get into his stats and see what this boy brings to the game all right guys so on the card he does have 83 pace 81 dribbling 86 shooting 73 on the passing 64 on the physical and 48 uh, on the defending you look at his in-game stats guys he does have some decent stats I will say for an 86 rated legend meaning he is one of the lowest rated legends uh, available in the game with 90 attack position and 86 reactions 87 composure 85 acceleration as well as 85 on the ball control 90 finishing 84 long shots and 83 heading accuracy in my opinion guys for one of the lowest rated legends in the game at a rating of 86 his in-game stats are pretty decent if you ask me all right guys so my thoughts on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in FIFA 17 ultimate team were that he is a decent player guys he's he's definitely not the worst player in the world definitely 100% but he's definitely not the best player in the world either he's just sort of average you know and seeing that he is a legend in the game I gotta say I was a little disappointed in the fact that he wasn't slightly better you know maybe it's just me expecting too much I don't know but when I use legends uh, in ultimate team I like them to be better than regular players I just think legends should be better than regular players in this game it's just my opinion on how they should perform and Solskjaer for me just turned out to be an average player, even though he is one of the lowest rated legends available in the game, you know? Going through the weaknesses and strengths that I did find with this card, guys, I'll go through the strengths first, tell you guys what I did like about the card, one of which was his dribbling and ball control. Now, it was a bit of a surprise to me, to be perfectly honest, guys, because I've used plenty of players uh, in this game so far that have very similar dribbling stats to Solskjaer, and they have been absolutely atrocious for me. But Solskjaer, for some reason, he was outperforming those stats fantastically he kept the ball close to his feet guys and he didn't feel like one of those players that was slow to turn on the ball and you know just felt like they were running through mud if you know what I mean so I gotta say his dribbling and ball control for me uh, it was pretty decent guys that was one of the nice surprises uh, with this card something else that I did like guys was his shooting now finishing inside the box guys he was fantastic for me long shots on the other hand is a bit of an inconsistency with this card uh, and most of his shots I will say um, were on target it's just Solskjaer wasn't putting enough power behind his shots to be able to score on a consistent basis for me from outside the box guys so unfortunately that part of Solskjaer especially for me guys because I love taking my long shots uh, was a big disappointment even though he did score one or two decent ones for me this card is definitely one of those players that will finish every single time pretty much inside the box completely opposite uh, when outside the box though guys his pace for me was pretty decent as well now I did use him in the hunter chemistry style guys but I've said it plenty of times in the past I honestly do not feel a difference in stats in game uh, when I use players with and without chemistry styles they just feel exactly the same but regardless I did use him in the hunter chemistry style supposedly boosts him up from 83 to 95 pace he didn't feel anywhere close to 95 pace guys uh, he just felt like 83 you know he felt like to me what 83 pace should feel like guys and he was fast enough for me guys and that's coming from someone guys who likes to have strikers with at least 90 pace so if it suits my style of play and he was fast enough for me if you like strikers that are very fast as well don't count this guy out guys right he, he may just surprise you because that's what he did for me with his pace that's for damn sure and the last strength guys that I do need to mention with this card is that his weak foot for me was pretty consistent shooting in general with his right foot and his left foot finishing inside the box was very 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 reliable for me does have the four star weak foot so a player with that star rating should be very consistent and I was not disappointed when I was using him uh, in game guys so if you are thinking to yourself maybe for some reason this card will not perform very well on his weak foot I can tell you guys take it from me if you trust my opinion he will not disappoint you because he did not do that for me moving on to the weaknesses guys that I did find with this card is passing for me was pretty dreadful I think I used him for about 16 17 games and he only made one or two assists for me and thinking back I can't really remember remember him making that many assists for me or creating that many opportunities so guys passing with this card absolutely dreadful his positioning for me was very inconsistent as well now he does have high attacking work rate and medium defensive but he was just one of those 
I guess you could say lazy players, you know, he just didn't want to make the run on his own and I absolutely despise it guys when my strikers do that, so definitely something to keep in mind uh, when you go out and buy this card or if you are thinking about buying this card for yourself. His strength for me was very disappointing as well, I mean you look at his strength stats in game, you should expect it, Solskjaer will get bullied off the ball very very easily, his aerial ability for me wasn't the greatest and probably the biggest weakness with this card guys in my opinion is his stamina guys now he does have 73 stamina in game but every time i used him guys after every single game when i was on the squad screen i had to use a fitness card on him because one game would take 10 fitness off this card instantly it was absolutely ridiculous guys how much stamina this card would lose for me in game so to sum it up guys Solskjaer turned out to be an okay player for me you know he was a very average player i gotta give him a final score of 7.5 out of 10 i think he's worth it simply due to the fact that he's one of the cheapest legends available in the game at around about 130,000 coins for that price and for a legend he did do his job it's just that I was slightly disappointed I think personally because when I use legends I would like to be surprised you know I want to use legends and I want pretty much every legend that I use to be very good you know and even though Solskjaer did score uh, quite a few decent goals for me I didn't quite get that legend feeling you know he was just an average player but for 130,000 coins guys he definitely isn't the best player but he definitely isn't the worst either so that right there guys is going to wrap up my Solskjaer review in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team if you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you decide whether or not to go out and buy the player for yourself then a like would be greatly appreciated guys all the support on these videos I really really do appreciate the support if you want to subscribe to the channel as well feel free to click that button as well underneath this video to be notified when I upload a video your next and as always guys most importantly please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys